Hi, I'm Kimberly, and today we're going to make a really cute receiving blanket. Download this pattern at Fat Quarter Shop, and you're going to have a quick and easy baby gift in no time. All you need are four quarter yards of fabric and a 28 inch square for your backing. So let's get sewing. From each quarter yard of fabric, cut four seven inch squares. So you'll have a total of 16 squares. Then you'll just lay your squares out in a diagonal pattern. To sew your blanket top, go ahead and sew each of your rows together. You've got four rows. And then you're gonna to wanna to press everything in opposing directions. And then to finish our quilt, we're gonna sew each of these seams together. You just put your fabrics right sides together, pin in each intersection, and at the beginning and the end, and you'll see when you're pinning, you have nesting seams. Next, you want to get your backing fabric out. It's 28 inches square. And then we finish the quilt top, which is 26 and a half inches square. And we're just going to put those right sides together. And then we're going to pin. I like to just pin once in each square all the way around. And now we're going to trim around the edge of the quilt top to make the backing size match the size of the blanket top. You can use any straight ruler, just put it along the edge and cut. Okay, now everything is all the same size, and then I like to make my receiving blankets have a rounded corner because I just think it adds a little added touch. So in our downloadable pattern, you can get the template or you can use the Creative Grids corner cutter ruler, and there's a three inch side that I like best. You just line it up and cut. When you're cutting with the corner, I like to use a rotary blade at an angle slightly to get a better effect. You just cut all the way around, cuts off perfectly. Just do that on all four sides and we're ready to finish our blanket. I went ahead and sewed with a quarter inch seam allowance and a 2.0 stitch length all the way around. I back stitched at the beginning and the end and I also left an eight inch opening. You can see my stitches here. When you go around your corner, it's really a small corner and it's not very angled, so just sew slowly and you should be fine. So now we're ready to turn our receiving blanket right side out. Now we're going to give our receiving blanket a quick press. On each of your seams, just pull the fabric out all the way to the edge and then press and you won't have a duck pleat. Go all the way around. So when you get to your opening, just press in approximately a quarter inch and press in place. And now you'll just pin your opening closed. So now your receiving blanket is ready for the top stitch. Today I'm using a coordinating thread. You could use yellow or aqua and stitch in the ditch down both center lines. I used a 2.5 stitch length. Once you've done that, you want to stitch around the very edge of your quilt using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And what that's going to do is close the opening that you had previously. This is such a cute project. We'd love to see what you make with this. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more projects like this. Thanks for watching.